Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of our long-running podcast, the Mark and Smark Connection Podcast. I am your host right now, the Smark, Jesse Disbro. Hello, hello, hi. And with me is the Mark, that would be Matt Cooper. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And no, me, everybody. we're not getting married. <laughs> uh, both uh, of us yet, still baby. single, uh-huh. looking to mingle. Oh, God. <laughs> Have we stooped to this point? It's like all the ladies out there listening to our wrestling podcast. <laughs> this cause. Uh, uh, okay, goodbye, our lady audience. Yes, give us a, give us a, a like on all of our social. Sure. And then we'll Any... Facebook stalk you later. Okay, yeah. so we have our normal show, as always. We have our Matt recap that opens up the show. Matt talks about the things he didn't see this week, a.k.a. the network television shows on the USA Networks. And then we talk about whatever the big stuff is this 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 time. It's not really WWE that had big stuff this week. Um, it's actually the other areas of wrestling um, we have a very big uh, wrestling universe that is unfolding before us. We've had a little bit of another big bang. So we'll be talking about some of that stuff, and we'll close out with our hot tag, hot take, uh, where we basically get to say whatever we want. So, Matt, what happened? Well, <clears throat> this part of the show is called the Matt Recap. It's called the Matt Recap because I don't have cable. I don't watch the television shows. Um, I watch the pay-per-views with Jesse, but otherwise I generally have no clue what's happening. So for the Matt Recap, I try to piece together what happened on Raw and SmackDown based upon social media, you know, like Instagram and Twitter, which you can find us on at Mark and Smart, Facebook too. So this week, uh, it seems like the most important thing that happened according to Instagram and Twitter was, yay, everybody's getting married or engaged. Uh, Yay! I mean, that, that one of those things that happened. Uh, That's yeah. literally the most the, the most of what I saw. This week. <laughs> uh, well, Becky, people, yeah, people Lynch were excited and, about that, and they were Becky not... Lynch and Seth Rollins announced their engagement and or nuptials. I don't know if they got married. I think they just got no, engaged. No, they just got engaged. Um, okay, yeah, and um, and one uh, of the iconics married Mr. Perfect Ten, mm-hmm. uh, and and then somebody else probably got married too. Yeah, probably. Um, well, I can tell you, uh. Mm-hmm. That the marriage might have finally been consummated for uh, that that little guy, Drake Maverick, because he, Maverick. he oh. was able to win the twenty four seven championship back. Oh really? Yes, it was very and did nice. Did he did he grab it and run straight for his wife's bedroom? I just, I don't know about that one. Um, I, 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 I didn't see it yet. So um. For for the longest time, whenever he's been saying "still have yet to consummate my marriage," I thought this meant that was because his wife was, you know, blackballing him because he didn't have the twenty four seven championship. But I think it's it's actually because he's made it a point himself mm-hmm. to not consummate his marriage without the twenty four seven championship. So <laughs> yes, she might not be too happy to see him running in with the twenty four seven championship. <laughs> oh, we'll find uh, out. He hasn't given an update since then. He's uh, I, he's still out there in the in I, the either. I I will say that I didn't expect the wrestling tagline of the season to be "Still have yet to consummate my marriage," but <laughs> that seems to be what it's been so far. Adam Cole, baby, nope. Delete, 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 nope. Can you smell? Nope. It's I still have yet to consummate my marriage. Uh, oh goodness. Yep, that's definitely uh, definitely what happened. So uh, that. That was the only title change this uh, this week. Um, we ended up with. By the way, for the record, I'm fine with the title not changing every week. Yeah, Elias got to sat in the throne and did his heel promo, and then got stunned by Kevin Owens, and then mm-hmm. uh, r Truth brought a brought a ref up, but out of nowhere, Drake Maverick came out, pulled r Truth out of the ring, and flat, put him face first on the the side side of the ring, and. Luckily, Elias was able to unbelt hi- un- unbelt himself while that was mm-hmm. happening because he wasn't able to get it off before the stunner. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he got pinned one, two, three, and uh, Drake Maverick then celebrated by running around the ring, tripping over the prone body of uh, R-Truth, R-Truth. <laughs> and then running back 
even unconscious, our truth is an ever-present danger. <laughs> yes, to um, use 24-7 reign. So, uh, set on the throne, King of the Ring stuff is still happening, huh? Yep, King of the Ring stuff is still happening. It basically has gone exactly as we had, um, as we had put it down. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, the uh, we had Chad Gable beat. The, this is the. I'll give you the raw first, actually. So the raw. Okay. You'll um, give it to me raw first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, don't play our don't play our wedding music yet. Um, <laughs> All right. So uh, Ricochet beat Drew McIntyre. So um, I think we were kind of split on that one, but I think we kind of settled on Ricochet as the as the yeah. winner there. Um, I think we just were we just didn't quite have somebody there. Um, a lot of people thought Drew McIntyre was there. People were calling this a bracket buster, uh, especially uh, the Corey Graves on commentary. Nah, I mean I I think early in the in the turn. Well, I don't know. It's like Weird popularity contest that wrestling often is. Mm -hmm. I think Ricochet just has more heat right now, and I think him losing to Drew McIntyre wouldn't actually Drew 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 McIntyre do Drew McIntyre any favors. Do, so do, Drew McIntyre. Yeah, it, would, it, would, it wouldn't help Drew McIntyre. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't help him either. So I, I think the the safe booking there was probably just to have Ricochet win. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, and I think when we looked at the at the brackets, um, they usually like to put face heel, face heel, as yeah. we go forward. Um, so Samoa Joe had already won last week, so we kind of said, well, this is the one place that they might do heel versus heel, but Ricochet probably is going to mm -hmm. win. Uh, Baron mm -hmm. Corbin, as we thought, beat The Miz. Um, mm -hmm. So Baron Corbin, um, tank top Baron Corbin, mm -hmm. is now uh, is now going there, and he's go and he sat on the throne too, which. If you've watched wrestling enough, that's that's a no-no. If you sit on the throne before you, we never before think. you win. Uh, uh, yeah, you so just curse. He's, he's doomed himself. He uh, he might have. It'll be interesting. We um, he's facing Cedric Alexander, who's getting a little bit of a push. Uh, Cedric Ale actually beat Cesaro in a singles match this week. Oh, so okay. That's kind of um, cool. I, I will say I, I've actually sort of already made a prediction as to who's going to win the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Baron Corbin's going to win the whole thing. See, I think Baron Corbin is going to... I th I think either we end up with Baron Corbin losing this next week, so we have Ricochet versus mm -hmm. Cedric mm -hmm. in a super flippy guy match, or Baron mm -hmm. Corbin's going to come out of that bracket and fa or Baron Corbin's going to come into the finals of the red side of the bracket and then no, lose I think, to Ricochet. I, no, I think it's going to win the whole thing. It's Do possible. Do you want to know why? Why? Do you want because um, I saw a post he made on his Instagram, and he hashtagged himself King Corbin, mm -hmm. and that's just such a good name. You like King so, Corbin? You think it's good? Yeah, yeah, and I think it's a good repackaging. And uh, I mean, sometimes it, it's like in porn. If you got a great name, that's really all that matters. Mm -hmm. So King well, you, Corbin, I, you know, you have to have a great name, and having great talent usually helps too. Oh, Baron Corbin can work. Yeah, I mean. I actually out of the out of the people remaining. So Chad Gable beat Shelton Benjamin on the Blue Show, and in the barn burner that we expected it to be, uh, the person we expected to win, Ali beat uh, Buddy Murphy. Hey, how do you like the apples? Okay, so I think everything is going according to plan. I actually, with the brackets as they are, we're in the elite eight, as it were. Mm -hmm. I actually think Andrade Cien Almas is going to win the King of the Ring tournament. Mm, that that'd do him. A lot more favors, That's I think. That's actually where I yeah. think we're going. Um, but let's see. Anything else happen on Raw? Let's see. They 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 booked the Universal title match. So that's going to mm -hmm. be Braun Strowman versus Seth Rollins. Okay. The current tag team champions facing off of against each other. There uh -huh. was also a tag team turmoil match. Tag team turmoil? Yes. So uh, oh. it's kind of like this gauntlet type match. Um, where teams are picked randomly and the last team standing wins. Cool. They had eight okay. tag teams go in, and uh, mm -hmm. the tag team that that won was our old favorite, uh, Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. Hey! Yeah, I think I saw uh, a gif of that. They did some sort of, some sort of, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but they did it to Heavy Machinery, and it looked like it hurt. Yeah, so. Heavy Machinery basically, the finish was basically just Heavy Machinery just collapsing on themselves. 
because Ouch. of how how the how rude and um Dolph put their stuff together. Um let's see. What was the um they have a uh, they have a portmanteau name that's been thrown around on Twitter. Uh and I can't remember it off the top of my head now. Zoogler? Uh nope. I I tried. You tried. Wriggler. Um no, it's like it's actually like a real word and it's sad. Oh, Rizzler? Rizzer? Riz- it's sad. Rizzer? Well, I don't fucking know. You don't know word? what a, what's you don't a, know what a rizzer is? What's a rizzer? Oh, it's it's a medical instrument. I can't describe it <laughs> in more than that. That's yeah. <laughs> in the land of Narnia. <laughs> in the land of Narnia. It's like it's like a golden snitch, right? It's not yes. like it's not like a golden person who tells all your secrets. No, it's <laughs> uh are you still there, Jesse? Yeah, I am. I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to jump on this as as quick as I can. Anyway, they they kind of jumped in. They they got put together that day and beat okay. seven other tag teams to win to get a shot at the tag team championships. Oh, wonderful! One of those. We built this tag team from just two guys, we and suddenly they win. And uh-huh. yeah, you know that thing that you were railing against like yesterday, uh-huh. Uh-huh. the last show. Uh huh. Yep. They, well, they yep, just they doubled down on it. So. Uh huh. That's annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Gallows and Andersons and the 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 OCs of the world. The OC. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna climb on the soapbox again. The OC. The OC. Anyway, uh, yeah. So they've got a yeah yeah. Anyway, they're gonna go on their Night of Champion. Uh. Clash of Champions is what it's called now. So that means that every title will be defended. So um, Braun and Seth will defend the tag team titles and then later have the, their world title. So they'll do, be doing double duty that night. Oh, interesting. Well, I mean, that could make for some fun little storytelling, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the only other thing that was interesting that came out of that was um, Sasha Banks um, confirmed that she, in fact, was lying on the floor crying. Uh, on WrestleMania day, oh really? She confirmed uh, some of the things that people were rumorizing, and so, uh, used it as fuel for her heel turn. So, as as they do. Yep. So that's uh, that came out of Raw. Basically, we're just kind of moving along, moving right along towards the, you know night of night of champ clash of champions. I don't um, really feel like they're gonna shuffle around the champions before that pay per view. So no, we're I just mean, gonna kid chug through. Uh, I guess we might be moving towards a match with Roman Reigns and Rowan, or Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan, because Roman Reigns found video evidence that Rowan was one of the people who pushed stuff down on him that first day. Um, okay. And then you know, actually, Daniel Bryan, after he saw it, berated Eric Rowan and told him to get out of his ring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He hates liars. He was lying to me. Um, of course, Roman Reigns just kind of speared Daniel Bryan anyway. <laughs> so uh, we'll find yeah. out whether Daniel Bryan is lying, which would be very heelish of him um, uh, to continue to say it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Um, it, it could also be a dumb way to detach Daniel Bryan from Eric Rowan. Yeah, it could be. So. It could be that Luke Harper is is the other person in there. Luke they're, Harper, they're, yeah, a.k.a. Could, the guy who wanted to leave, like... Yeah. Oh, a couple of months ago. And then they added two years to his contract. Well, um, I mean, I guess Sasha Banks, like, totally wanted to leave, too. And now they, they, they've they managed to work that out. Yeah, now she's got a title shot. Or she actually doesn't have a title shot yet. We'll see We'll see whether they show some sort of restraint or not with this. They're, um, they're going to build... I was thinking about this. They're going to build Sasha towards a, a title shot against whomever. Uh, Becky uh, Lynch, Becky Lynch maybe. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I I think that's gonna happen. Oh, that's probably gonna happen. It looks like the Miz might be fighting Shinsuke Nakamura at uh, Clash of Champions. He got kicked in the face, kneed in the face again by Shinsuke with but at the egging on of Sami Zayn. And Isn't there a uh, special name for that? Like uh, the Shin Kin, Kos- Kin, Kin, Kin Shin. I could do this. Kin, oh, fuck. Kin, Kin That's close, close enough. Kin close Sasha? enough. Don't have a don't have a conniption. Don't don't. Stop is what you're saying. Yes, you're you're close enough. <laughs> Kinshasa okay. is good enough. Um, 
there's too many shahs in that word. Sha sha. Hey hey, oh, hey, hey, I did it. Bye bye. <laughs> um, and then uh, Samoa Joe read a read a letter from AJ Styles' family in in ahead of their match at SummerSlam. Oh, oh wait, I mean again. Randy Orton uh, read a letter. Uh, oh, from... okay. From Kofi Kingston's family, family ahead of their match, yeah, for after summer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, nah, the people have been pointing this out left and right. That is l- <laughs> almost literally the same thing we saw this time last year. Well, that sucks. That does kind of suck. Uh, it, it they, the just, just I don't there's even. So know. many other there's so many other things they could have done with Randy Orton and Kofi. Right. And, they could have you know, even done this angle a little differently. They could have kind of like tried to do this, like you don't mess with my family, and like instead yeah. Kofi's just like going whole ham, super protector, rather than Randy being the aggressor this whole time. You know, they could have even if they just did that, it would be enough to kind of make this different enough. Uh, you know, I don't cry that- about it. Pro wrestling has been around for a long time, mm-hmm. and a lot of these stories have been told in other ways, other times before. Yeah, and you know that's fine, but this is just like somebody carbon copied last year's crap, and mm-hmm. even even the way they're acting is the same. And I mean, so. maybe if it was like, and it's the same exact title on the same exact show. Yeah, and like I said, and even worse is these people are reacting exactly the same. Like uh-huh. AJ Styles lost his shit. And now Kofi's losing his shit, and yep. it makes even less sense here because He's got a Randy Orton did dangerous edge now. Yeah, Randy Orton didn't spend like weeks harassing his family. Randy Orton like glanced at his kids in the audience and said something like, "Hey," and then Kofi was like, "I have to my kid." So it's. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just kind of went off a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. Um, so. It, uh, it annoys me because the, the push to make Kofi champion was just so well paced and so well handled, and I've been hoping the follow up w- would be okay, but this seems to be kind of <clears throat> so. As a friend of mine says on Twitter, fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> fart noise. Yeah. Uh, so that's what happened on the shows that were on USA. On the show that is soon to be on USA, um, there was a tag team title change. The Street Profits, NXT. yeah, NXT. The Street Profits lost their titles to the Undisputed Era. Ah, so now the Undisputed Era is draped in gold. Yes, except for uh, Roderick Strong, who wasn't able to take the North American Championship. Well, I so, mean, he'd have to take that from what the Velveteen Dream. Yep. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Buddy. So we'll have to see if they're able to put that together before the end of the year, like they said they would do. Uh, it's going to take the entire Undisputed Era cheating to get the title off of the Velveteen Dream, and it's going to be a fantastic match. I cannot wait. I think that would be the... I think that's a good match to, like, punctuate the first live NXT show on USA Network. Oh, yeah. Make that title change, and then you follow up with a rematch at Survivor Series, the War Games or whatever. Where uh, the title maybe the title changes back or whatever we'll see, but I think that would be a good match to have on there. Um, we also okay. had um, like Pete Dunn is putting himself into. He's I think they're kind of moving him to NXT proper, and it okay. looks so. And that's not the only uh, former UK champion that there look looks like they might be moving to NXT proper. Uh, Rhea Ripley, the oh, yeah. first U- women's UK champion. Hmm. Uh, looks like she's the next to step up to Shayna Baszler. Okay. So that's uh that's interesting. Speaking of the UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the coming up they they are actually having a um pay per view, or you know if you have the network just turn it on to watch it this Saturday in Cardiff. Oh hey okay cool. Yep. Uh Cesaro is supposed to be going to that right. Yes, uh, Cesaro announced after he lost um, that he will be going to that, and he will also be eating fresh fruit now that he has his braces are off. I, I, yeah, I I saw that, by the way. Congrats to Cesaro for being able to take the old crispy bite set of apples. Yep, it's a, it's, a, it's a new day for Cesaro. It's a new day, yes it is. Chomp. Those are, yeah, chomp, 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 chomp. Those are the sounds of biting an apple to the new day. Entrance! Yes! <laughs> Hire me right away, Vince McMahon. So we'll see how we'll see where that goes. Um, whether he's gonna jump in 
to any of the the feuds, whether he's just going to be there, whether there's going to be an extra match that pops in there. We'll see. Uh, here's the matches for the card. Uh, Travis okay. Banks will be facing off against Noam Dar. Who, Noam Dar? Yeah, yep. Remember him yeah. from 205 Live? He, he does Absolutely double duty. Not. Okay. Well, he does double duty between 205 Live and NXT UK. Okay. Um, also, Dave Mastiff will be facing Joe Coffey. Cool. Yep, you have no idea who either of those are. No. Um, Joe Coffey's a member of the stable Gallus. Um, with uh, fe- oh, Gallus, okay. Yes, yeah. with uh, f- with fellow Coffey brother Mark Coffey and Wolfgang. Uh-huh. I'm a what, unique- about, what about Strong Coffey and Meat Coffey? And Lukewarm Coffey. Lukewarm Coffey, yes. And, All right, and, now and that we've made fun Grande of the man's Latte. name. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> anyway, <a> guy. yes. <laughs> um, uh, no, they'll be uh, they'll be facing the uh, young grizzled veterans. The uh, well, anyway, Gallus, the rest of Gallus, Mark Coffey and Wolfgang, will uh-huh. be facing the the young grizzled veterans. That's the NXT Tag Team Champions. And Mark Wait, is, and... That, is that actually their name? Yes. The young grizzled veterans. Yep, that is okay. actually their name. And then the the it's a super interesting team. Uh, Mark Andrews, who performs on 205 Live as well, uh-huh. and Flash Morgan Webster, who is mm-hmm. uh, who is a very interesting cat. So that seems like it's a very interesting team. They'll be in a triple threat tag match for that, so we'll see if there's three people in the ring, or there's only two, and Joe cries. Um, and then the two championships, Walter, all capitals Walter. Um, I, no, I, 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 I know Walter, I remember Walter. We'll be actually facing the first ever UK champion, Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate. <laughs> okay. Uh, you remember Tyler uh, Bate? Yeah, he's the one I kept confusing with um, Pete Dunne. Yes. So. Yep. Uh, so just remember the not Pete Dunne. Okay. So that's actually two people you kind of actually would recognize if I lined them up. Yeah, and said, "Who is this?" And you gave me multiple choice. And I gave you. And it you... said something like Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Tyler Bate, and I'd be like, "Uh." <laughs> Maybe if I just gave you first ever UK champion lost to Pete Dunne, you'd be like, "Oh, that's not Pete Dunne. That's Tyler Bate." That might be all I need. Yes. <laughs> uh... To prevent me from writing in D, Pete Dunne. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the what's the championship match? Cesaro versus who? Uh, no, not Cesaro. That's the championship match. Walter versus Tyler Bate for the UK championship. Okay. And then the women's championship. Uh, Tony Storm versus Kaylee Ray. Cool. So what's uh, what's Cesaro supposed to be doing? I don't know. The, okay. I don't know. He might just be standing in the crowd. He's be like, hey, they, everybody. They'll pan to him and cheer, and cheer to him as the newest addition to the UK roster. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe he's going to help. Maybe he's going to become the new member of Mustache Mountain and help Tyler Bate equalize against Imperium, which is Walter Stable. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out well, when we get th- when we get there. So, okay, um, cool. will you be watching this? Is this within your May- realm of... Maybe? Probably not. Probably no. not? I gotta go throw axes and things on I, I might be working at this point, so I might not be able to watch it. It does sound like it could be a, a good bit. Maybe we catch a replay later when you... I, I've heard that, um... They have a reputation for working a little bit more snug in the UK. Like yes. they're stiffer or they hit harder. British strong uh, style. British, I was about to say, it seems like in every other country, they hit each other a lot harder in the ring, with the exception of maybe Mexico. Yeah, so, that's what, well, because okay. WWE has kind of had the, the... It's just been what it is, and it's had the the stranglehold on wrestling in the U, in the United States for so long. So Okay. That's kind of the wrestling that's that people think of at the highest level, whereas everywhere else they've kind of you know evolved differently. It's an interesting thing to observe. Yeah. So speaking of evolving differently, uh, that other mm-hmm. big brand um, is having a pay per view this uh, this weekend. AEW. AEW. Yep. Okay. Their big all out card, which is. They have basically two big, uh, big events on their schedule. Um, they had All In, and this is All Out, um, the sequel to their first big pay-per-view. Yeah, I, I know about that one in a general sense because I, I understood that um, John Moxley actually won't be able to do it 
because he uh elbow hurty. Mm hmm Yep, he uh he got injured, so he got pulled out of the match against Kenny Omega. Mm -hmm. And uh, we finally get Pac, the former Neville. Hey, I, I've been wondering where he was. I guess cause... they were able to get his visa fixed and uh, were able to get him in there. Um, they, I guess they were just kind of holding him in the back pocket for, uh, you know, for whatever, for whatever was waiting, you know. Uh, so that'll be that will be that. Um, actually. Now that WWE is putting something up on Wednesday before AEW is putting their show up, seems like uh, TNT is jumping in. They actually will have the Countdown to All Out special on mm. TNT at 10.9 Central on their, on their network. So we'll actually have AEW programming on TNT this Friday. Okay. So we'll have the wrestling on the net, uh, new wrestling on a new network already. Yep, it'll be coming. It'll be very interesting. There's a there's a bunch of interesting matches. Um, they will name the they will there will be a match for the inaugural AEW World Championship. That'll mm -hmm. be Hangman Adam Page versus Chris Jericho. Mm -hmm. Um, the tag team there'll be a tag team match, and um, last week last year last week the last pay-per-view there was a first round buy given out or something along that for their tag team tournament mm -hmm. that'll be happening um that'll be this this uh this tag team match will be another buy um the best friends chuck taylor and trent beretta versus the dark <laughs> order i like that the best friends yes they're they are they're a pretty likable tag team and they'll be uh, i mean with a name like that you know well, they'll be facing some uh, some bad, big bads in the Dark Order. Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, a.k.a. Player Dose. Um, so we'll be seeing those guys. There'll also be a AAA World Tag Team match, which is uh, a Lucha Libre promotion in okay. Mexico. Uh, the okay. Lucha Brothers will be facing the Young Bucks in that match. I think it was supposed to be a ladder match. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is an Escalera de la Muerte, a.k.a. a ladder match. Escalera, the ladder of death? Yes. Or stairs of death? Yes. Something like that. Something along that way. Death. Um There's death from being yes. escalated. Um, Escalation of death. Yeah, that doesn't sound nearly as threatening as Escalera de... De la Muerte. Muerte. De la Muerte. Okay. Escalera de la Muerte. Right. Yep. Um, yeah, well, actually, Muerte is an E, so it's a, it, it's indefinite what the art what the article would be yeah I, I don't know so it's that, a, yeah it could be a, a, a la or an l anyway that's your uh -huh. spanish where's, lesson for where's, today. where's dora when you need her yes in her, like yo in her dora life. how do you how do you say death boots help me out here <laughs> yeah boots um has had a lot of death in his life you can tell i've i don't know who that is so uh, <laughs> apparently you uh, haven't watched dora you just know how to name i know dora. i know dora and i know there's some motherfucker named swiper who like tries to steal shit yes and he's the, like a like a raccoon or a fox or something boots is oh a one of the one of the steely animals Bo yes. okay boots is a monkey and he wears boots well that makes sense Hence his name boots um cody's single ma singles matches against sean spears fka ty dillinger the okay. newly married gentleman. Yes, congratulations. Um, he maybe will have. We'll, yeah, hopefully. Maybe we'll see the uh, Peyton Royce or whichever one of those iconics he married at the. Uh... No, that's, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna happen. Uh, we might see some tweets that maybe not directly name AEW, but maybe like, "That's my husband out there," or "Let's go." That's my husband out there doing that thing. Yeah, Let's go, like, darling. We might see something like that. Yeah. Hashtag um, nothing. <laughs> Sean Spears will have Tully Blanchard in his corner as his manager, mm -hmm. uh, one of the four horsemen. Um, the the other the kickoff, not a kickoff match, the one that's going to start the well, actually, it looks like there's going to be eight, maybe eight. There will be eight matches on the actual show, so there will be a Cracker Barrel Clash. Cracker which, Barrel Clash brought to you by Cracker Barrel. Probably yes, it's some sort of gimmick match. It'll have Joey Janela. Mm -hmm. Um, Darby Allen and Jimmy Havoc. 
Are they just gonna sit in the middle of the ring and play that game with the toothpicks? No, they're where... probably gonna. It's probably gonna be the first person to break an actual fucking barrel over the other person's head wins. Well, you know what? If somebody had get hit with that toothpick g game, I'm gonna be upset. That's <laughs> not a real Cracker Barrel. Hatch. I guess you'll have to watch. Uh, is that uh, speaking of watching? Is the is there a place to watch this like? without having to buy a $50 uh, pay-per-view. No, or... so you might be able to watch the pre-show. That's usually streamed for free on the AEW channel, AEW uh -huh. YouTube channel, the TNT uh -huh. channel, uh -huh. um, and the Bleacher Report um, uh -huh. app. The pre-show will have the 21-woman casino battle royale, which okay. uh, will be, the winner of that match will be part of the inaugural AEW Women's World Championship match. Okay, who's going to uh, be in that? Uh, I, I I was joking. I, you don't have to tell I me don't know. Uh, Br Brandy Rhodes is, has put herself um, either in the match, either either in that match or in the women's championship match. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Brandy Rhodes can she is she related to Cody? Uh, yes, she's the wife of Cody Rhodes, and that oh, allows can, them to be billed as Cody and Brandy Rhodes. Can she can she wrestle? Yeah. Okay, say no more. <laughs> Probably not well enough to, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, we'll find out. Uh, Dr. Britt Baker is a favorite. Um, she was one of the first people to get uh to get signed and is one of cool. the. What she got a doctorate in? Uh, dentistry. Oh, uh, uh, she, she's not like an Isaac Yankum, is she? No, she's she's actually literally practices dentistry. She has a she has a, an actual practice. Cool. So she, she can rearrange her the face and then fix, and then put it back together. It little, yeah. <laughs> yep. Nice. Uh, um, that's cool. So that's actually cool. And I believe, yeah, I was right. She's married to Adam Cole. Baby. All right. I'm sorry, I couldn't. So, help <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in there. Um, <laughs> so that's one of the matches you'll see on the pre-show. And Private Party, who looked fantastic in one of the last pay-per-views, will be uh, facing off against. Angelico and Jack Evans. So okay. if you want to see all the flippiest high spots ever, uh -huh. that match will be for you. Well, if the Crackle Barrel Crackdown Crash Clash. Clash match is not in the pre-show, then I don't give a damn. No, no. You'll so, be missing out yeah. on that. You'll be missing out on Joshi action. Riho versus Hikaru Shida. And you'll okay. be missing out on a six-man tag match. Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, Marco Stunt versus SoCal Uncensored. Luchasaurus, what Luchasaurus a name! Luchasaurus is awesome. Luchasaurus it, is a star in the making. He's like seven uh -huh. foot tall, and he's like dressed as this. Okay, like, Jesus Christ, he really is like a Luchasaurus. Yeah, he's okay. dressed as this like dr like fucking dragon dinosaur. And does he does he do flippy shit? Um. No, he's close, very as close okay. as you can, as a seven footer can to do that. He is very quick. He is, he can do like stuff off the top rope, some big moves. He was, he was a million bucks the last two times he was on AEW, um, and his tag team partner Jungle Boy, who um, is the son mm -hmm. of uh, the the late nine hundred two one zero star, Luke Perry. Luke Perry, yeah. Um, okay. And then Marco Stunt, who's uh, like a five and a half, uh, four and a half, five foot tall wrestler. Yeah, with names like Luchasaurus and Marco Stunt, what else were you gonna do with your life? Right. Well, SoCal not, and not I... is all the grizzled veterans. Yeah. Um, not, who have not, that as, places, not that I assume. Places. Not that I assumed that that gentleman's real name is Luchasaurus. No. Uh, his like... his real name is actually <laughs> on his uh, Twitter account. Oh. And he's one of the wrestlers who have uh, liked and liked and or retweeted our stuff. So, oh hey, so automatically we support him. Hope he wins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus. Um, yeah, I, know. I said that wrong on purpose. He so... uh, he was signed to NXT, and he was using his NXT name, Judas uh, Devlin. Judas Devlin. Yeah. yeah that that is oof, that oof. oh that is overwrought. That. <laughs> oh my god, okay. His no real wonder. name is like Austin something, so yeah, that, that's that. Uh, so it looks like it could be fun. Um, there's like the dream, the only dream matches they have here um, are maybe Pac versus Kenny Omega. Um, we get more Lucha Brothers versus the Young Bucks, which is great. That's just like Usos versus uh, the New Day. We just can't get enough of it, just keep it coming. Um, nom okay. nom nom nom. Um, but the they're they're kind of slowed down on dream matches, and we're starting to get now into more 
like this is what AEW like rivalries might be. So that, that'll be interesting to see how well that plays out because they kind of have just been like dream match after dream match after uh, indie showcase after indie showcase. And uh, you can't so do that far. forever. Though. No, you, you can't. Know. So I think they they started doing that transition in Fight for the Fallen, which was yeah. the last one. Um, now they're I think they're gonna get that transition fully out there um, here as the show kicks off on in October, so I don't think they have a pay-per-view scheduled before the show starts. Yeah, September and October is going to be interesting as far as wrestling, <coughs> wrestling goes, because the, doesn't doesn't the WWE move over to Fox? Uh, okay, and then they, they, they have the week split. It'll be like Monday and Friday. Yep. With and then, NXT on Wednesdays. Yep, so it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, we'll Ooh. still have Impact on Thursday. No one's challenging the Thursday slot for Impact. Yep, no impact. You're good. You're good. Nobody can. Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> nobody can compete with impact on Thursdays. I'm sure. Yep. So. They're good. Uh, um, I'm. I can't remember. I don't think they said what day the um NWA show is going to come out on. Mm -hmm. That might be coming out on Fridays against uh against um WWE, but we'll find out. And then um, yeah. So then we'll have all that. We'll have almost a full week of wrestling every every week. Uh, we're gonna have a uh, a wealth of riches. I'm not even sure that's an expression. I mean, technically, but... they might still run 205 live on Tuesdays. We'll have to see how that works out. Okay. All right, and um, I think we mentioned very very briefly that New Japan's doing a thing. Yep. Yeah, I think they're okay. actually in the UK as well this weekend. Uh oh. So there's going to be strong style all over the place in the UK. Yeah, I think so. Um, I just got I'm double checking because uh I mean the the look that they had mm -hmm. for their um for whatever this is coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh had like Regal Lions. Yeah, Royal Quest is the name of it. Uh, is the name of the event. Yep. But yeah. New, J New Japan's got the best fucking names for their events. Royal Quest. Royal Crest Wrestle Kingdom. So you can watch that on Fight yeah. TV. You can also watch um, the AEW on Fight TV as well. But it's normal pay-per-view pricing. Mm, yeah, and no, I'm never paying normal pay-per-view pricing ever. When I was a kid, um, quick story, mm -hmm. I went to the video store and they had like a, a copy of WrestleMania, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, one of those. Yeah. And I bought it, and uh, I rented it, and I watched it, and I was like, this is great. And they were like, watch it on pay-per-view. And I was like, ma, I need to see the next WWE pay-per-view. And then we looked it up, and they were like, $60. And so mom said, fuck that. And I said, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> so, they learned uh, early. Oh, yeah, no. And, and this wasn't my mom telling me no and me getting upset. When I heard about that, I was like, Jesus Christ. How could they you do such pay, a You don't even pay that much to go to the movies. You don't even pay that much to go to a baseball game, right? Yeah, that's like... <laughs> That's a ton of money. That's so. like all of the TV that we watch for like two months. Yeah. So yeah, no, pay-per-view prices have always been ridiculous in my opinion. Mm. Um, yeah. Sure. Um, uh, so the way I try to get around it is I go to a fucking bar that's streaming the pay-per-view. But just good luck finding a bar streaming the AEW. Event. I don't know. That, uh, <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's a groundswell for it. You might be able to find it. Yes, but oh, I do not want to go hang out in a bar with a bunch of wrestling fans. <laughs> Especially AEW fans, right? Oh, yeah, no, those are the worst. They're like, AEW, AEW, and uh, fuck Triple H. I'm like, yeah, I get it, but just watch a show. <laughs> no, I think they've kind of cooled off a little bit, but they there's a, there was not well, the greatest... Uh... Not, not, not to sit here and talk shit about other fans, right? but um, the, they're certainly not as obnoxious as the ECW fans from back in the day, so... Mm. Uh, good old EC dub or Patriots fans. Patriots fans, yeah. Th there's somebody everybody can agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Now that we've Patriots now that we've alienated some of our listeners, mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much been it for this week. It was a relatively slow week, so I think now would be a good time for the hot tag, hot take, hot tag, hot take. So the hot tag, hot take is a segment we have every week, um, where we hop in, we say our piece. And uh, we we say hot tag, hot take. Then we get to say whatever we want, as long as it's tangentially, um, uh, uh, you know, part of wrestling. 
And from that point on, boom, we finish what we say. Nobody gets to say anything, except the other one gets to hop in and say, hot tag, hot take, and take yep. it away. So, hot tag, hot take. I'm going to go first. Um, oh, boy. Okay. So, <laughs> as soon as I tagged in, I, something in my throat. Um, so last week, uh, Ric Flair was down in Houston. Uh, I live in Houston. Ric Flair was here. Uh, he threw the opening pitch for a game, and Josh Reddick got to come out and meet the guy. And if you know the Houston Astros, and you know Josh Reddick in particular, he's an outfielder, and he is a big, big wrestling fan. Uh, I think his walk-up music, which is the term they use in sports for entrance music, but I think his walk-up music is actually Ric Flair's uh, entrance music as well. So big Ric Flair fan, got to meet him, got to wear the, got to wear a fuzzy robe. Ric Flair got to point at him and say Josh Reddick style and profile and then he got to throw a pitch and say woo so that was fun it was great good for you Josh Reddick all right hot tag hot take I'm gonna jump right in here and uh, I'm just gonna before I throw this out here I missed one match that was also made for Clash of Champions uh Umberto Carrillo will challenge Drew Gulak for the Cruiserweight Championship my beef is with a different championship this week when announced, they said that the 24-7 championship would be open for any rostered superstar or any superstar in the WWE. So that included, you know, 205 Live, and we saw a bunch of the 205 Live people running after them on on uh, SmackDown Live. That would also include NXT. But you know what it didn't include? The Fox <laughs> Saturday college announced team analysts. God damn it. Can we keep these people who aren't even part of wrestling out of this crap? Like, I, I know I get, the, I get that it's a nice cross promotion and whatever, and it was probably funny. It was like, it just happened to be there and take advantage of the situation. But like, come on, man. It's, it's just like, when you say you're going to do something, do it. I didn't have a big problem with people under Legends contracts winning the title on the old school Raw. That was fun. That was cool. And it, it was nice. But this is... This is... Uh, I don't know. I can't call it a travesty because it's a 24-7 championship, so it's not really that big of a deal. But if you're going to do something, just stick to what you said you were going to do. Or say that you're going to change the rules. It's the reason why I hate the fact that the wild card has kind of ruined all of, all of rosters. But... Ugh. Uh, um, um, it's back in the hands of somebody who cares about the title, is an actual worker, and is deserving of the title because he's so damn funny. So uh, all's well that ends well, I guess. So, all right. Uh, now that we've tagged in, it's time for a finishing move. Every week I come up with a new finishing move. It's typically a tag team move, kind of related to something we've talked about in this week. Our finisher is the uh, for the rest of our lives. One wrestler gets down on his knee and proposes to his opponent. His opponent is super flattered and says yes and is so distracted that he doesn't see the other guy coming up behind him. And he delivers a stunner and or a diamond cutter and or diamond cutter. That would actually work since it's an engagement ring. So he runs up and diamond cuts him. And then he gets pinned. One, two, three. One, the two, end. three. And then, you know, we, uh, we, we both go off and run off to the chapel. I mean, back to the, to the <laughs> back room. Get our gear and head back home. Enjoy our, you know, co consummating our wait. No, winning our match back at the the hotel. And uh, maybe we'll sit down and listen to a podcast. Maybe we'll listen to the Mark and Smark Connection podcast, which you can find on markandsmark.podbean.com, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play Music, potentially YouTube. They changed some things up, so we have to uh, kind of tool around with that. Uh, Facebook.com slash Mark and Smark, at Mark and Smark on Twitter, and also on the Daily Smark website. So dailysmark.com. Uh, check that out. We go up every Friday, usually in the morning. I'm going to try to get it out as early as I can on Friday this week so that you can get it ahead of AEW. You can get it ahead of uh, NXT UK Cardiff. You can get it ahead of the WWE shows on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so for that, I am Jesse Disbro for the Mark Matt Cooper. Signing off. Have a great week.